guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Roxanne. We are backstage at Slam Dunk Festival 2021 and Dolskin join me now. How are you guys? Good. That's the reaction we want. That's what we like to hear straight off the bat. Uh, welcome back to the UK, guys. I mean, my God, we've waited a long time. It's nice to have you back here. And here's the obvious question you're going to get asked a million times. How was that, eh? I mean, back on a stage, back on a festival stage, yeah. that's got to feel pretty damn good right Horrible. now. Horrible. Just kidding. It really just sucked. <laughs> it was It was really good. There was a lot of, like, weird random technical difficulties that happened, but uh, I don't know. We prevailed. Yes. We kept going. Um, the crowd was amazing. The crowd was absolutely amazing. It was so sick. A lot of people so singing along. That was, that was whoa. It was so sick. Yeah. It was so cool. But um, it was really, like... I don't, it, it was really hard to keep my my thoughts together and like my 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 focus on like speaking to the crowd because there was just like it was so overwhelmingly like cool. <laughs> you can just see everyone's face too. You're just like, what do oh, I yeah. say? Daytime daytime shows suck just because like I have to look everyone in the eyes. Oh, of course. <laughs> no one likes that. Yeah. Come on. Being perceived. <laughs> yeah. What? I just I like to look out into a sea of just like black and like you yeah. see heads sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Occasional. Yeah. I get that. The occasional, yeah. occasional yeah. sights outside yeah. there. But I mean, yeah, it's it's that vibe all weekend, isn't it? It's the return yeah. of live music. Everyone's yeah. just kind of like, yes, thank God, we're finally yeah. back in a good way. How was it actually getting back in a rehearsal? For you guys, we had loads of bands saying, you know, it took a minute to sort of blow off the cobwebs. Did you have that experience, or were you kind of straight back into it? Well, it was different for us mainly just because we went from, you know, we went from a four piece to a two piece, sure. and then uh, invited a few friends out to. Uh, come play with us and shit and we were able to get us all together and we, we've been practicing a ton before this we had the the warm-up shows with nick deep and everything um but it was really like weird getting to know these people not only as people but as musicians and yeah. as like people we're playing a show with because that chemistry is something that is really hard to fake and so being able to just like click with everyone was so important and it just happened so well uh but like rehearsals were so weird because it was like we're about to like play in front of a bunch of people what the fuck yeah and like some of these people like they have been doing music for a long time but they've never done something of this scale sure. so it's like this is a first time for quite a few of the people in our group but they totally slayed it so uh, that's really move. really cool to hear. actually i was going to mention those neck deep shows i mean what a great crowd that always is you oh know, yeah people always come out and support them in a big big way uh talk to me about getting to play with those guys i mean that must have been a really fun one it was so fun i literally like i i'm a fan of neck deep so like sure. it was really cool to like be able to to not only just go out with them but uh be able to like have those two whole dates it's just us and them and uh the crowd, the first night, the crowd, I think it was just also my anxiety, but like the crowd was just like staring into my soul. <laughs> there was specifically this one guy, I talk about this every time I talk about these shows, this one guy who was really tall and his eyes were just so intense. Every time the fucking light guy lit up the crowd, it was like, I was like, stop looking at me. That's what <laughs> it's I like, mean. you turn around. Show, but just go in the back. <laughs> like, turn around. Um, but you know, and I, I feel like I almost like psyched myself out a little too much because like I felt like everyone was talking over us the whole time and like that everyone was like staring at me too intensely and I was like okay no because the second night was fine um the second night was amazing actually but um it was also really cool having two nights at the same venue yeah that's fun <laughs> that's fun yeah. get to adjust a bit that's yeah, always good yeah. isn't it get into the groove for yeah. sure that uh, makes a lot of sense uh, I wanted to mention as well something that happened uh, since kind of last time so, teaming up with uh, Noah Finsel will be seen mm -hmm. very very shortly that very very cool little Youngblood cover why that song and what was the kind of approach to, to that particular track uh, it was actually his idea um, he like <laughs> so our, our label guy Tobin hit me up and was like do you want to do a song or whatever and then Noah and I were talking about doing a song and it was so just like up in the air for so long and then all of a sudden he's like all right here's the song record it and send it to me by the end of the week and i was like fuck okay let's go well i guess i'm doing that then. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh all right on my way but it was um it was really fun like kind of facetiming with him and like uh chatting with his producer a little bit just like through whatever message and just being like uh trying to figure out what the best way to do it was in terms of like who's singing what and whatever yeah. uh but i spent all day recording 7,000 different passes of everything. And I was like, do with this what you will. <laughs> Please. Just it, take it away from me. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, here's yeah. everything I could have possibly done. Yeah. Um, have fun. 
We're, um, we're playing the song with him tomorrow. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, that'll be a really, He's really gonna nice He's going to come up and join us. He was gonna, we were going to do it both days, but uh, he got here too late to do that with us today. Fair so. enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Yes. I'm actually wearing his jacket right now. Oh, awesome. There you go. Yeah, no, that's going to be really, really fun. Yeah, no, bless him. No, it's really, really cool to see. I like that club a lot. Uh, and speaking of which, you know, before I let you go, I've got to ask, of course, what is next? And I know full well you're only going to tease me a little bit. You're just <laughs> going to give away some kind of cryptic answers about, oh, we've worked on some stuff. It might be good. You might, yeah. might hear it soon enough. But let's just do that and get out of the way, shall we? What's um, next, guys? Nothing. We're quitting right now. <laughs> well, what's funny is that we wish we could tease something that is actually, like, put together. We have a bunch of stuff that we've, like, worked on. Yeah. But it's like we don't have right now an official plan for the next thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of fun. I'm not mad about it. It's kind of like nice to have that that pool of things we could go and just like pick back up on right now um, when we have time because it's just been super busy since things picked up again. Yeah. But uh, just yeah. Focusing on tours at the moment. Yeah. We're doing like a tour with Anti Flag in the states. Very so fun. that one's after this one. Yeah. So we've got a lot of a lot of touring. Got to catch up on that before anything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hasn't everyone? That's more than understandable. I want to get back out there yep. and play these songs on the road. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll leave you to it, guys. Uh, congrats on today. Enjoy tomorrow. We will hopefully see you back in the UK again very, very soon. Yes. All right. Good to see you guys. All right, Dolskin, everybody. Yeah.